Welcome to the Toyota Halftime Report. If you want Clippers, Sixers, Bulls, Hawks, you got to wait. We got Jeremy Lin, do we not, JB? In yes. Madison Square Garland, yes. There was a steal and layup. Second quarter, more Lin. Floater here. Knicks lead by eight at the half. Fourth quarter, Lakers down nine. Kobe Bryant throws it off the glass to himself. Finds Gasol, who hits the J. Later in the fourth, Lin pulls up for the long J in front of Pal Gasol. Knicks lead by 10 with six to go. Fourth quarter, it's Bill Walker. He's going to miss the three. Lynn comes up with the ball here. He knocks down the three. He goes for 38. Knicks win by seven. All right, that's what people are talking about in the Toyota NBA Sports Nation. All right. <laughs> How surprised are each of you on a scale of 1 to 10, honestly, at the way Jeremy Lynn played? I'm going to say, I'm going to admit. I thought he'd play fine. I thought he'd have one of those 20 point four assist games. You did expect 20. Okay, 20, but he scored 38. <laughs> I, on a 1 to 10 scale, I'm an 8 plus. And it's sort of the shock meter of how Jeremy Lin played against Kobe Bryant in the Lakers. Uh, 8 plus is all? 8. I'm, I'm going uh, probably 20. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and, and, and not that he's playing well, but for him to put a team on his back and now create excitement create uh, guys playing harder, better defense, getting out on the break, filling the wings, because they know this young man, Jeremy Lin, would get them the ball. And I tell you what, New York, and now the country, after watching it on ESPN, sees what we're seeing. This is a, this guy is for real. This is not no flash, you know, in the pan. In the pan. This guy can really play basketball and Chris, he's smart, man. He's a smart basketball player. And you know what this shows, too, is that he can handle the expectations. Yeah. We've seen a lot of guys when nobody's expecting anything, nobody knows who you are, you come in, you get 25. But after the first three games he had, everybody's talking about Jeremy Lin. The garden is full of Jeremy Lin T-shirts. He's on the front page, the back page of the tabloids in New York. And you've got Kobe Bryant coming into your building. Who had 61 last year. <laughs> yeah, well, a few years ago against him. Yeah. But averages 30 in the garden. And you step up on that stage and you deliver the 38 <laughs> and 7? I mean, All right, let's talk about Let's talk guts. about something then. Because in sports, not only do we expect it once, we expect it, and New York's going to expect it at some point every night. What's a reasonable expectation out of Jeremy Lin? Well, it depends how long Carmelo's out, because I don't know that this works when he comes back. I think it'd be great with it if it's just Stoudemire, because it does look a lot like that Phoenix yeah. team and the Phoenix system that Mike D'Antoni was with. I'm not saying Lin Steve Nash just yet, a two-time MVP, but you've got a great pick-and-roll player in Amari <laughs> Stoudemire. You've got this guy. You've got athletes around. You've got some guys that can shoot. It'll look a lot like the Suns in the East, and that's what Mike D'Antoni had in mind. But when you bring Carmelo back, he's a one-on-one -on -one player who likes to hold the basketball. Don't and, know if it'll work. And they're playing, finally, team basketball. That's what Jeremy Lin brings to this Nick team. And they need some of it. They needed it all season, worked their way up in the Eastern Conference.